exciting things happen on Friday. Mm. Yes, they do. <laughs> How do you feel? Pretty good. I'm glad I passed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't pass with flying colors, but I passed. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what colors you passed with. Um, so you'll be driving the truck today. Yeah. She's got play practice the next two weeks, like almost constantly. Every day. Even Saturday. Yeah. So, and then Missy has art club after school, but she needs a pizza picked up, a gluten-free pizza picked up, and Emma has an hour before play practice starts, so guess who doesn't have to go down to pick up pizza? You. Yeah. I'm excited and also very nervous. <laughs> so you feel comfortable? You're going to park the truck? I mean, yeah, I gotta park it. <laughs> right? You feel comfortable with that? Oh, I think so. I mean, I'm a bit nervous, but... Yeah, me too. Well, because it's just so big and everything. But I'm going to try and make it so that I don't have to back out. But even if I do have to back out, I've done it before. Yep. It's just use easy. use a spotter if you need help. Mm -hmm. You know, have somebody help you out. That'd be... Oh, that's terrifying. I couldn't do that. Oh. Why? Because you'll run them over? No, because I don't want to ask someone to help me back out of the okay, parking you, lot. You have a sister. Hello. <laughs> She's not going to be there, though. <laughs> well, she, yeah. But anyway, just do the dang best you can. Be careful. Text me the minute you get to school. I figured you would say that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just your mom. In a couple days. <laughs> oh, you will, oh my gosh, I just cannot believe you're going to drive to school. You're She's gonna nervous. Drive to school. Mm -hmm. I am a little nervous. I have confidence in you, but I am nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And it's weird that we're not rushing to catch your ride. Yeah. I know. You'd be already gone by now. Yeah, unless we took the bus, which we have like You have three minutes. minutes? You have like ten minutes. For the bus? It's 7 or 7. We were just, talking, we were just talking about right. the bus. We were just discussing the bus. So we have 10 minutes now, but then we would have had like 4 mm. minutes, 3 or 4 minutes. Yep. We, as we've discussed, we don't normally buy cereal, but I had some extra milk. We got some beautiful raw milk from a friend who just got a dairy cow. We had a little bit of extra milk, so we mm -hmm. can't go to waste, so mm -hmm. we bought some cereal. <laughs> Get rid of it. In a good way. Oh, I'm excited to hear how your first solo drive goes. I've only driven alone one time and it was in the Walmart parking lot. Yep. Why? Because mom needed to be picked up at the door. Because I had to go get something. And I was she like, pick me up at the door. So. She had to go get something secret that wasn't there. Right, I was trying to buy something for Emma's birthday and it wasn't there. So what I didn't buy it. So I was trying to get you those earrings. I was, I was trying to buy you fancy earrings. Oh. But Walmart did That's not have... Things. Well, they used to... Like, they have jewelry counters. Right. But they don't in that one. That and I was one. like, well, that's dumb. I don't think they have them in... Like, well, they, they, they do, do in Idaho and yeah. Utah and stuff. Yeah. Because I bought my stainless steel earrings there. And they're this, nice. This one just sucks. Yeah. It's just small. Yeah. Have a good day, my ladies. I really like you. Be careful. <laughs> I like you too. And I really like your sister. So please be careful. I will be. Okay. I promise. Okay, let me know how you do. <laughs> I will. Remember the glow plugs. I know. It's a diesel. Okay. I, Goodbye. I've driven a diesel before. I know she'll do fine. Letting them grow up is not easy. I am excited though for her. And I'm excited um, that I don't have to drive to the school 16 times a day anymore. But this is a little scary. You can't really see them, but they're getting in the truck over there. <laughs> oh. Holy buckets. Harriet's babies are out. Look, it's eating. <laughs> it's eating grass. Why is that cute, Sam? I don't know. Look. <laughs> They're all out. Look at 
like this one. It's almost oh, it's completely white. And it doesn't have red eyes. No, they wouldn't have red eyes. They're not New Zealand. Oh my goodness. But last time we got white bunnies. Uh, we had an, bunnies. it was like an albino. It had an issue. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We have two that we're going to be selling. And the rest of them, I'm not sure oh, what the plan is. So there's I mean, two. Whether Great they'll ones. be meat or if we'll sell them, I don't know. But there are full Rex babies. They're so cute. She's done such a good job. I don't know why they look so cute in this stage. <laughs> Sweet babies. Good job, you guys. Cute. Oh, don't scare me. I didn't mean to. I think we have eight in total. Meanwhile, um, Carrot's babies are out too. So that's fun. Gotta be careful. <laughs> we have, we have there, that little white one's Carrot's. We have all kinds of stages of life in here. We're hoping to get the colony finished so we can fix this. But that one is Mama's baby. That's Mama. But yeah, we have a lot of generations going on in here. Thank you, baby. So we have three that size, and then we have three that size, and we have two that size. That one and that one. They're a good size. Where's the little baby? Right there, in the doorway. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where the other two are. I'm guessing in the nest. Oh, there's the water. I think rabbit tractors are fantastic. Hey, quit leaning on me. Okay. Here you go. Miss Freya, run away. <laughs> you want me to pet you? Get away from me. Go. She wants me to, to scratch her. Oh, she's looking so good. She's, her winter coat is... She's sleeking up, I guess is the right word. Is she gonna roll? We've opened her up to the main pasture, so she's able to go out and do and eat. This is growing back. She grazed it down to about nothing, which is good for it. I mean, you don't want to overstress the pasture, but. I don't know what's up with those goats. I think we need to scream. <laughs> but so much fun life happening on the homestead. I am frustrated with my new driver this morning. She did not check in with her mother to say, hey, I got here okay. Um, I do have an app that I can track her, that I can see where she's at. But, um, so I know she made it to school, so I guess no news is good news, but I would have liked to have known that she made it okay with no problems. So I guess I'll have to, I'll have to wait till the end of the day. Okay, so <laughs> it was my first day driving to school and it went well, everything was great. I got here, I got here perfectly fine. We were all safe. It was great. Well, I get here, I'm in the parking lot at school, I get here, and I can't find my phone anywhere. 
I'm like freaking out. I can't find it. So um, I have Missy text and her phone number, what like her phone, it wasn't coming through. And so like, it was kind of, kind of freaking out. I emailed, I just left and it, I guess the find your phone app said it was in where we're at, like at, at the school. And so I'm like, okay, it's probably in the truck. And I come in here, immediately find it. And I'm like, okay, that's my favorite thing. Okay, that's cool. Um, anyway, but things went well. I am fine. <laughs> I'm just going to take Missy home and come back for practice. But it was not my favorite thing. Not that I'm, not that I just have to have my phone all the time, but I, <laughs> I need it. Like, I, it was more stressful to not have the contact and tell mom that I'm okay. And it was just stressful, but everything is fine. And I'm gonna take Missy home now. Oh, it's such a pretty day. So, here she comes. Um, there was an incident where Missy's art club got canceled and Missy wasn't told about it. So Emma was, um, Emma has an hour before she has to be at the play practice. So luckily Emma could bring her home. That's so crazy to me. I'm grateful, like so grateful. I've got a friend that says, your life is about to just get a lot easier and freedom is here. And I'm like, that's true. How are you? Uh, okay. <laughs> Nerves? Yeah. Well, nothing bad happened at all. Oh. But yeah. like, I just had some struggles. I turned, when I was turning out of one of, I turned into like that middle lane, the turn lane. Uh huh. And so I had to go up all the way over like by, by Dairy Queen. And so I went all the way, I turned there, I turned around at this like apartment complex and then went down that and then I was fine. <laughs> so you just turned the wrong way. You yeah. didn't have any other issues. Well, other than I was kind of like in the middle of like a, the driveway and uh -huh. it was hard for people to turn into where I was. But it's so fine. So it was stressful. Missy was fine. You okay? Yeah. She was like, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> okay. To what? To exactly. what? Exactly, to what? I'm sorry about art club. Oh, it's okay. She wasn't here today, so. That's dumb. Not sure. She wasn't but answering my emails. But, but she got a pizza. I got pizza. So. <laughs> hey, look. Do and I there's, your, drive the there's your papa. Maybe he'll let you drive the Jeep back. We'll see. <laughs> if I don't, it's fine. But yeah, the truck is not the easiest thing to drive. They were having a pizza party at Art Club, and so it's our last day. And so we got her a gluten-free nice pizza, okay. to which she'll enjoy on her own. Thanks for doing all that for me. That is such a nice thing. You're welcome. <laughs> Alive. I am. What's wrong with the truck? Nothing. Other than the brake light, the like, like brake light comes from one. I don't know if that's normal. Yeah. As I told her, I said the truck so, has issues. I just figured I'll call. I called her and I was like, "Is it normal?" And she's like, "Yeah, it's fine." I, I'll fix it someday. <laughs> well, so Missy's art club got canceled. Oh, boo. She yeah. So our amazing daughter brought her home, so I didn't have to go get her. Wow. I know. So amazing. But now she's got to go back. Everybody at work that it was your first time driving solo, and they're like, "Oh, that's such a relief, isn't it?" I'm like, "What are you <laughs> no, talking about? Not. It won't be a relief until she's home and the car's okay." <laughs> They're like, oh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she's hoping you'll let her drive the Jeep back to school. Tonight? She's I have gotta to go, be, like, oh. She's gotta car be there in 20 minutes. Yep. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you're halfway home. I'm glad you're home. <laughs> How was school today? Um, it was fine. Stressful, but fine. Yeah. No, I want you to look at it. You can't eat it. Just smell it. Just it. Oh, that looks so good. My phone and all that stuff. I need help. Yeah. So when I called Domino's, we had a free pizza because the last pizza looked like it had been thrown against the wall before they delivered it to us. 
and they hadn't noted that there was a free pizza on our account. And so I told them the exact day and the pizza. And they're like, oh, well, it sounds like it, you know, you know what you're talking about. So it was, it was a free gluten free pizza. So that's nice. I'm hungry and I just want I'm glad they're home. Well, I'm asleep. You heading right out or are you going to come in for two seconds? I got to go. I don't want to be late. Yeah. Missy, there's the sun on you. So you want you look, Isn't she pretty? <laughs> Bye. Love you, baby. Love you too. Missy. Goodbye. Be safe. Just a minute. I will. Just a minute. Just kind of crazy. That's her first absolutely solo drive, other than the Walmart parking lot. Um, to pick me up from the parking lot to the door. But um, she's had Missy with her the last couple times, so this is all by herself, completely alone. <laughs> she's a good kid. You good girl. You good girl. She's doing really well, isn't she? She really is. She's coming into herself. For a couple of days there, she wasn't sure what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You good girl. She's so sweet. Has she? <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, the goats are eating their alfalfa. <laughs> you taking care of your goats? How long have we had her now? Two weeks? Um, yeah. Oh, and there's your horse. Don't touch the fence. Hi, Lula. Lula was licking your butt. Lula Lou? <laughs> you special girl. She was licking your butt. No, she wasn't. It was my leg. You good girl. Yeah, he said he was looking through our insect book that has spiders in it, and he said he saw a brown recluse. Where? Uh, my goodness. So. Usually in dark places. Like. Not out in the open. Well, it was on the wall. Yeah. Close to the door. Like, very, very close. So hopefully he misidentified, but we need to keep an eye out. Yeah. That, that tickles. You're much good as your I'm excited to get these goats run through the, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say, the, the, the woodsies areas. Yeah, he's got some fence work to do, but I gotta get that <laughs> rabbit colony finished before I move on to the next Ooh, big thing. Absolutely, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> You good girl. She is so good. I love the little bit of training she's already had. I'm really impressed with how good you are, huh? I mean, you're still a pup, but she's a good girl. Yeah, we're not gonna trust her with babies. Nope. Until she's proven herself. But for right now, she's used to being around animals that size. I think we've talked about this enough. Yep. You got one too. Ugh. Tick season's here. You good girl. She has a ton of ticks. Not anymore. Nope. We gave her medicine. She used to. What are you doing? Why are you trying to lick everybody? <laughs> <laughs> she keeps licking everybody, Mom. Why? Why, Lula? Why because she's a dog. <laughs> I know it's funny, though. She's so good. We just walked out, and instead of trying to follow us out, she just laid down with the goats. Yep. She's like, okay. I'm a puppy, but I'm learning my job. The goats have yet to, to discover her feed, feeder. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want to wait till they do. I need to get it off the ground. And, and in a goat-proof container. Secure it so they can't get to it. Yeah. Because it's an automatic dog feeder. This is what the Judys do. And so we're just following the protocols that they've done because that's what she's used to. And they're good people to follow. <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> oh, good girls. Oh, good girls. <laughs>